Hi, Facebook and YouTubers. Marshall here. Want to take a moment to uh, highlight and show off my latest project here in the garage. Uh, so I want to introduce you to, if you've never seen one before, these uh, these are called the uh, Chinese diesel heaters. Uh, made by originally made by a company of the Chinese, uh, made by a company called Vever, V E V O R. Uh, if you search eBay or Amazon for Vever. Uh, diesel heaters or just search diesel heaters uh, you'll find them uh, their Home Depot sells them they're they're quite uh, quite the buzz right now what's so cool about them is is that they're really compact it's not a very large unit this is putting out uh, it's in Celsius but the burn chamber is 210 degrees Celsius so that's about 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit um, it is heating uh, my two-car garage uh, very very well uh, it was uh, it's been uh, it's been running for a couple of hours here today uh, and we're up 10 degrees from where we started but the neat thing is is that it has a uh, five liter or one gallon uh, tank built into it so this top portion is all uh, fuel storage right now there's red diesel um, in that for those of you that don't know red diesel is just like uh, regular diesel but it's dyed with red and we don't have to pay the road tax here in Iowa uh, so it's even cheaper to burn. Right now, that's $4.25 a gallon for red diesel uh, here in uh, the Midwest. Uh, so it's designed to run off of that. You get about uh, 20 hours, at least uh, if you run it full bore, you get about 20 hours of burn time on one tank of gas. If, uh, if you let it uh, kind of also, you know, if it gets up to temperature, temperature it'll, it'll go into a low mode and it'll run for about 24 hours um, otherwise. Uh, but for me, as many of you know, I like to tinker, uh, and so I don't want to have to pay for diesel. So I started making my own black diesel. Now, you, you probably ask me, well, what's the difference between red diesel and black diesel? Well, black diesel is made solely from recycled uh, and used waste motor oil and other petroleum products. Uh, so I, uh, I get waste oil uh, from a number of sources. Um, I bring it in in five-gallon pails. Um, I then uh, I mix it uh, with, uh, with ethanol uh, to thin it out. Um, and then I begin to pump it through a series of two filters. I've got a 20 micron filter here and a five micron filter here. So it pumps uh, through those two filters and pumps it directly into this 15 gallon. Uh, this is an old sprayer tank uh, that I had laying around. So there's 15 gallons. It's about half full right now. Uh, and so that is a probably 70% waste oil and 30% ethanol uh, mixture. Uh, and then what I do is I start the heater with diesel. Uh, so waste oil is very unique in the sense that it requires a much higher burn temperature to burn cleanly um, and efficiently. So uh, because this was designed for diesel and not for waste oil, uh, I started on diesel. So I have a couple valves here that I've kind of modified. So when I'm starting it up, um, I'll uh, flip this dial and I'll, and I'll begin to burn off of diesel. I'll let it get up to temperature like it is right now. And then I turn this dial and I begin to pull the oil from the lower tank. So this right now is uh, burning completely off of uh, waste oil, uh, what I'm gonna call black diesel. Uh, black diesel is also used. A lot of folks make it, and they'll just put it right into their diesel vehicles, uh, and uh, and can and can use it that way. Uh, but there you have it. It's a pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome setup, putting out good heat. Um, it, uh, I mean, you can't leave your hand here for very long, and then it uh, it actually gets it gets hot. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. Uh, this little small, uh, this small unit uh, can produce uh, such great heat, um, and absolutely no smoke outside. It, it is cleanly burning. It absolutely has no. Uh, no byproducts outside, uh, very, very uh, efficient, um, and, and it's pollution-free. So anyways, there you have it, uh, the Chinese diesel heater uh, being burned off of uh, black diesel, uh, and um, there you have it.